Hello Dragon, so we're gonna start with some stretching and we'll do a little warm up and then we will get going, ready? So stretch your arms up, down, up, down, up, down, and then like bring your shoulders forward, up, down, up, down, up, down, roll your shoulders back. You have to roll your shoulders forward. Good, cross. Press your body, give yourself your arm a hug. Hold it there, stretch it out. Cross, hug. Cross. Um, pat yourself on the back. Grab your elbow. Hold it there. Good. And on the back. Grab it. Good, down, put your shoulders back and forward one more time. Good, do some neck rolls. Other way. Good, wrist rolls. It's not really an other way you can go. I feel like it's kind of still the same way. But I don't really know. Alright, touch your toes for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five, and then back up. Next, hold them for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And last time, 15 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, and step back up. So, we're gonna start with four warm ups. I have a tube of sports back here. Don't know how it got there over there, but it did. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some of the exercises from here. So, I will let you pick. You only have to do three. I will name five. You only have to pick three of the five. So, burpees. So you jump up, then you do a push up, jump, do a push up. Okay, those are burpees. You can do jumps, uh, jump lunges. So you do a lunge, you bend your knee so close to the ground, but you're not touching the ground. You jump and switch legs. So if I were to do this, this leg's in front starting. I bend my knees so close, I'm not to the ground. Switch, now this leg's in front, okay? So that'd be a jump lunge. Um, a plank, so you go like this and you count. And then bicycles lay flat on your back. Stick your legs up, like up like this. Every time that you're riding a bicycle, okay? Um, how many is that? We had burpees, jump lunges. Um, anyways. oh, plank and bicycles, we need one more. Um, we'll do knee ups, so high knees. So you like, like you pick up your legs, you're as high as you can, but then like you do it fast, so like over and over again, super fast and like running. All of these, you have to do 10 of each. You only have to pick three of the five that I just listed. Um, so like high knees, if I did that super fast, like, That'd be one. You keep going 10 times if you can consecutively. If not, you have to do it 10 times. And all of them you have to do 10. If you're doing plank, hold it for 10 seconds, okay? Go do that. Pick three out of the five. Go.
Hi guys, welcome back um, from doing your warm up. So now we're gonna start with your form. So back up, ready, say dragon form three, ma'am, guard stance, up block, in block, out block, tire claw, front kick, turn the foot, pizza kick, pizza kick, free kick the ma'am. All right, so we're gonna do that one more time and then we're gonna add to it today, ready? Dragon form three, ma'am, guard stance, up block, in block, out block, tire claw, front kick, turn the foot, pizza kick, pizza kick, slide up, side kick, side kick, cat's paw, we get him in. All right, so what we added was a slide up, side kick, side kick, and a cat's paw, okay? We're gonna do that one more time, and then I'm gonna explain the difference between a tiger claw and a cat's paw, okay? So, ready? Dragon worm three, ma'am. Guard stance, up block, in block, out block, tire claw, front kick, turn the foot, pizza kick, pizza kick, slide up, side kick, side kick, tire, uh, the cat's paw, pizza get him in. Okay, so some of the names get, sometimes the names get kind of confusing, but what we're gonna do. So a tiger's claw, you take your hand, make like a claw shape, kind of bend your fingers, when you strike and you drag it down, you rip down, ready? So strike, rip down, strike, rip down, okay? And before you rip down, you still wanna hit, boom, super hard, and then rip down super hard, you ready? So boom, 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 boom. So let's do five together, ready? Guard stance, uh, tire claw, tire claw, tire claw, tire claw, tire claw, tire claw, all right. Now, a cat paw. Our hand is kind of flat, our finger is tucked in, and it's like a palm strike, but we're gonna call it cat's paw. So you're like this, boom, you don't drag it down, you just boom, cat's paw, cat's paw, cat's paw, okay? So make sure our thumb is tucked in so we don't break it. That is very important, we don't wanna hurt it. Our fingers are closed again so we don't break them. And then we just boom, okay? So let's do five of those together, ready? Cat's paw, cat's paw. Cat's paw, cat's paw, cat's paw, boom, cat's paw. Okay, so that is the difference between a tire claw and a cat's paw. We're gonna do our form one more time and then we're gonna move on to our out of my trouble. Ready? Dragon form three, ma'am. Guard stance, up block, in block, out block, tire claw. Make sure you stick it in and drag down. Front kick, turn the foot, pizza kick, pizza kick, slide up. Side kick, side kick, cat's paw. Straight, straight, our fingers are pulled in, our thumb is tucked in, we straight paw, strike, ready? You get them in. Okay, now we are going to move on to our online trouble. So, we're gonna do this a couple times together, and then it is your responsibility to teach this, or at least the first two moves to your grown up or your sibling, or anybody that you have at home with you right now, you teach them. It can't be like your dog, your cat this time, because I don't think they can do up blocks. If they can, that's very impressive, and I'd love to see a video, but if they can't, choose any other person that you have at home with you, ready? I don't want trouble. Guard stance, up block, tire claw, in block, tire claw, out block, tire claw, pick them in. So one more time, ready? I don't want trouble. Guard stance, up block, tiger claw, in block, tiger claw, out block, tiger claw, we keep them in. Okay, so hopefully you know what we're doing. We're going to do this one more time all together and we'll go super slow for this one and make sure when you're doing your tiger claw, sticking in, dragging down. Stick it in, rip down, okay? So let's do it one more time together, then you need your person at home. Ready? I don't want any trouble. Guard stance, up block, tiger claw, in block, tiger claw, out block, tiger claw, be to the man. Okay, so I will give you some time. I would like you guys to try it by yourself first to try to teach them all by yourself. If you are really stuck and you don't know what you're doing, you can watch the video and have them do it with you. But if you can teach it to them by yourself, I want to see that. I want to see you do that. Okay. So go do that, I'll give you guys some time, 
and try to teach them by yourself. Go ahead. All right, guys, so this month for your stripe, you are getting for stripe for focus. Um, so you want to make sure you're focusing with your eyes, your ears, your mind, and your whole body, okay? So say it with me. Focus with my eyes. Focus with my ears. Focus with my mind. Focus with my whole body, okay? So we want to make sure we're paying attention. So... Our focusing and our kind so and then our star is kindness respect and kindness those two kind of go together because if i'm at school and i'm not focusing on what my teacher is saying it, that's not very kind i'm not respecting them at all so they kind of tie together okay so if your parent is talking to you and you're like playing your video games and you're not even focusing on them and them talking to you you are not being kind to them you're not being respectful you're gonna hurt their feelings okay so you want to make sure that you are focusing all the time and that you are being kind to people and respecting people also by focusing, okay? Um, our stripe this month for focus is going to be black because if we are picturing a target, when you are playing darts or you are just throwing something at a target, let's say you're doing bow and arrow, okay? You are focusing and you're trying to get right in the center of that target, okay? You're focusing right on that little dot so you can and shoot it, okay? So you wanna make sure that you're focusing on that and that's why it's black because the center of a target is black, okay? So just things, some things to remember for Stripe Test. Um, I hope you guys had fun. I hope to see you next week. Bye guys.